In today's video we will explore the complete property of the real numbers. Let's define first the upper bound of a set. An upper bound of a given set, is an element that is greater than all the elements of the set. We call supremum, the least of the upper bounds, if there is one. We should note, that the supremum, might or might not be an element of the set. It's easy to see that there's always a supremum for finite sets, which is the maximum element of the set. Let's consider the open interval of rational numbers between 0 and 1. There is no maximum element, and the elements in the interval keep increasing without reaching a maximum number. However, there is a supremum, which is 1. But we want to avoid any gaps in our number system. Where, intuitively, you could approach this gap as close as you wanted from both sides, but without reaching any number. This set of rational numbers, is bounded above. However, there is no least upper bound. There is a gap that we can get as close as we want from both sides, but never reach it, because it corresponds to an irrational number. So the rational numbers are not complete. We have gaps that correspond to the irrational numbers. In order to include the irrational numbers, we introduce the axiom of completeness. This axiom guarantees that, for any non-empty set of real numbers that is bounded above, a supremum exists. This is what differentiates the rational from the real numbers. With the axiom of completeness, we have always a least upper bound, and therefore, we can now fill the gaps we had in the rationals. The real numbers are complete. In our next and last video in our series, we'll explore the continuum hypothesis.